my sunglasses, I look like a really young Willie Nelson. Hmm. I was going to say, you look like Matthew McConaughey's character from uh, Days and Confused. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Hey, uh, anybody here own a Samsung S20? No. no. Didn't Sam Didn't, know uh, how to turn on a new Samsung phone? Like, how do you actually fucking turn them on? Uh, there's a just power hold button. Just hold the, the power button. Yeah. So there's a volume rocker and a vol power button, and that's it, right? Yeah. Uh, no. Well, and, there should be a Bixby. Uh, Bixby, Bixby, Bixby button. Bixby button. No, there's so, no button on the other side. What do you What do you have right oh, now? Fuck their house. This is an S20 that my sister sent me. That's uh, smashed to shit, but uh, and there's there's no power button on the right hand side. Well, everything's on the right hand side. The volume rockers and this button underneath them. So I assume that's the button you're talking about. Right? Yes, there's there's no buttons. button on the top or bottom of the phone. There's no, there's no button on the top or the bottom. Oh, that's weird. Do you have it plugged in? Yeah. There's no light though. Ooh, that's not Ooh. good. That's not good. Well, do you, ha do you have it plugged in? Do you have it plugged in directly to the wall or to your computer? An adapter, like the the wall. Yeah, so yeah, so that phone's probably fucked, dude. But I might be able to get it fixed. Maybe. What happened to it? Did it drop? She she threw it. Like very violently. Mm. Oh. <clears throat> uh hold the volume up and down button, apparently is there together? Yeah, Obviously. the power button is actually the the side key, a button with multiple functions. Wow, that's lame. So wait, yeah. the power, the, the volume up and down, you can actually hold them both. That's uh, the power. Yeah, no, so uh, is there a default power button on the Galaxy S20? By default, the S20's power button is actually the side key, a button with multiple functions. The big speed button, then. Yeah. Oh, so this is fucked. Like the fact that I'm holding this down uh, is... Uh, it's it's not booting at all. Nah. How long has it been plugged in? Oh, like twenty minutes. Hold uh, on, but there's no light. There's no light on these phones, anyways. Oh, really? There's never a charging light. No. Okay. Oh no, you're right. There isn't. All right. Yeah. So <laughs> it's so, like mine's charging right now, and it's like, oh yeah, there is no light. <laughs> so I have some. So I have a a notification widget that I put on my phone that oh, cool. actually, yeah will flash around the that's kind of camera neat. that's pretty yeah. cool <laughs> and it'll tell it it'll tell me what type of messaging uh i've got notifications for based on the color sweet but there, uh, other than that there's no default notifications <clears throat> thanks man yeah all right um Okay, so I'm gonna start here, cause why not, eh? Uh, let's close Every, that. Everyone get their belches out while they can. Fucking background's not gonna work. I had the uh, Sony E3 from 2006 queued up to play in the background. Classic, very, very classic. <clears throat> but it doesn't work? Mm-mm. Oh, no. The file's corrupted. Like, it doesn't have enough keyframes or some crap. So, <laughs> oh, shit. Ooh, the Mandalorian scores its own pinball machine. Oh. Okay, oh, give me a surprise. sec. I'm not rooming for a pinball machine this summer. Take yeah, a look at this up. thing. Here, go, no, here. Send Wait. Me, me. Is it like a real pinball machine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's making it? Stern or, um, or one of the other manufacturers? What Stern, up? Stern what Pinball up? announced it. Stern. Oh god, it'll be good then. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Like, they look real good. There's oh, three yeah. different oh, oh yeah. Three different uh, layers. Oh, yeah, oh. yeah. The the, uh, the, L, <laughs> the LE version is always their like very nice, Richard. Top tier, most expensive with LED everything and crap. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for that. That's gonna be my treat to myself right there. Ten thousand yes. dollars US on a pinball machine. <laughs> yes. Oh, so totally. You know what? Honestly. Residual price, I, I'll tell you now, from my own research, uh, if you get a machine that's highly sought after and has had a relatively limited run, uh, it, it will retain its price or go up. Very rarely will they ever go down. So that's like resale. That's like the Adams Family, right? Sometimes no. the Adams Family. It, yeah, the Adams Family is 
the de facto best pinball machine ever produced ever uh, in the history of pinball machines. And it still has a limited, like, I think there was only like ever like 8,000 ever produced. Yeah. And trying yeah. to get your hands on one is absolutely ludicrous. And they go for like 12 grand for the basic model. I was trying to think. There's there's a Kiss pinball that was also kind of ridiculously priced and ridiculously rare, but I, I can't remember who the I, manufacturer was, and I can't remember which model. Yeah, there was some weird pinball games that were like shockingly good that you were like, you know, we, this, this has we, no right being good. It was like I think the, there was like a Metallica pinball game that was amazing. Yes, Metallica was really good. Yeah. And a pl- it was a pl- there was about this medieval was also really good. We're actually recording right now, so it's, oh, shit. Uh, it's a good thing hi. that. Uh... Hi everybody. <laughs> it's uh, like player, player one amusement group in Toronto uh, has has them. There's Kaz Harai and Mike's background. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at him. Fucking oh, slack jawed nope. moron. Forget that. I can get a ski ball table off myself. <laughs> I got my own skee-ball table. Ski-ball? $700. That sounds that like a lot price. of money for a skee-ball. It's, it's a huge contraption. I would expect it to be $2,700. You, you know what? Can save, you, uh... save yourself the money and get yourself a really good air hockey table. Oh, yeah. Air yeah, hockey is fun. For that too. That would be good. Or one of those like those old school dome hockey yeah, yeah. with like the little <laughs> twiddly <laughs> sticks. Yeah, those are good. Oh, those should are we, neat, but... Those, yeah. You can get really competitive with air hockey, though. Like, slap those things around. That's true. When you, you gotta throw a little bit of padding up on the wall just to make sure that uh, for the oh, sure you interactions, you get that constant stranger thing hum. Table. You get that constant hum from the air, just. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah, ski ball table in like your own basement would be the loudest thing ever. Yeah, that would be very loud. Like, the only reason you don't hear them much in an arcade is because there's a million other things making noise. It'd be just as loud as real hockey in your basement. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> clack, clack, clack. It's like, okay. shut up down there. They only have the premium table for the Stranger Things table. What, 30, so 30, 30 grand? Uh, request info is the cost, in case you're yeah. wondering. Yeah, because oh, wow. I, I think the, the reason why is it uh, what uh, reseller are you looking at? Player One Amusement Group. Oh, Player. Okay, don't don't buy from Player One. Okay. <clears throat> so pl- Player it? One, is, yeah. So Player One is uh, or was Starburst Electronics or Starburst. Uh, they Starburst were. I've heard of yeah. Yeah. So they were also uh, Cineplex owned, oh. right? So Player One and Cineplex, they're the same company now. And so if you ever go to a theater and all the little amusement games, they're from Player One. Um, so they're just a subsidiary. Uh, Starburst used to be the one that used to sell to um, uh, uh, Sega City, Palladium type of thing. They used to do those. But they also had like a rental service that you could actually just rent the machines from them uh, at a monthly rate. Yep. Uh, was really good. But uh, I yeah, there's there's a lot of other places you can buy from. There's a guy up in Kingston. Uh, that just does pinball machines. Uh, I would just Google around, but yeah, if, if you want to overpay, then yeah, Player One is where you're going to go. They used to do auctions. Actually, that's where I got a couple of my, my cabinets that I sold and restored because um, they would just have auctions. People would just bring their shit and they just stick it in a giant room and people would just walk around looking at it and be like, all right, I'm going to bid like 50 bucks on this arcade machine because the industry at that point in time didn't have any sort of bearing on costs so well some people don't know what they have either right uh, totally totally like honestly in the states in uh, in specific like iowa wyoming uh some of like the more central states honestly the the stuff that i see on the forums is ludicrous like people find these barn machines yeah like Somebody had like a barn and they just shoved like 40 machines in there and yeah. then the barn just got ignored. <laughs> it's like barn cars, essentially. Yeah. Oh, that's wild. Interesting. Okay. Well, uh, that's, my, that's I mean, the alternative is to go for one of those, uh, yeah, arcade one up, like, you know, much cheaper by comparison 
the pinball video. Machines. Yeah, the video pinball ones. I'd like to try one to see. I can't yeah. imagine those having the same look and feel at all than like to a regular like legit pinball machine. No, they they don't. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no Kingston way. Billiards. Kingston Billiards in Games dot com. That's where hey. I was thinking. Billiards in games. Oh. 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 Need to redo their website. Aside from that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll, I'll, if you're serious about it, I'll send you a bunch of my links that I've put together for research purposes. I, I'm very serious about getting a pinball. Research purposes. Search. Is that yes. what you call it when uh, when Jen can't find you anywhere? <laughs> <laughs> just the, I'm busy. I'm in the garage. We're, we're out of Kleenex I'm, again, Nick. What the fuck, dude? I'm, I'm sitting on the <laughs> toilet. They're not looking at porn again. No, I'm trying to find a pinball machine. Shut up. <laughs> Why is the door locked? Why does it smell so weird? <laughs> well, that's that's not abnormal. Neither here nor there. That that could be any for one any one of us. I mean, frankly, <laughs> really, there's an alien pinball machine. Yeah. Dude, there's oh, a pinball yeah. machine for everything. John, yeah, did you like, let your cameras off? Yeah, yeah, my. I gotta he do wanna, he, he, he You got a thing? I reconfigured my. Him? Can we, like, get a, uh, a CG character? Like, real quick? Oh, that'd be good. We are professionals oh, here, right? Good. We are not that professional, my friend. <laughs> um, <laughs> as, as a rhinoceros just walks behind your back, what is going Enhanced. on behind you? We're Enhanced. not very professional. PS3 key features and benefits, powered by Cole Cell. Powered by Cell. It was, it was a literal power. Oh, is this that Africa game where you went around and took pictures? Yeah. I got so high one night <laughs> I that game for hours, just going around the savanna taking pictures, and then I never touched it again. <laughs> It was amazing. I will never forget that night, except for the parts that I forget that night. But it was it was very very fun. Okay, what you drinking there, Rich? A little tongue tied. Ooh, I, I, interesting glass, man. Oh, this, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, it's like a stainless steel pint glass. I like the tumbler idea. Yeah. You can like, you can throw it around the room and it'll never break. That's exactly its purpose. When I go uh, waddling up the stairs tonight, if I happen to drop it, no breaky. Good for Dan doing his VR. <laughs> no breaky. Yeah, you know what? I should uh, probably invest in something like that. So what did you break, Dan? Oh, I didn't actually break anything. I was... Uh, um, I just knocked over a bunch of stuff. I punched my TV <laughs> the first night I played it, so... Can't oh, yeah, that's that. true. Yeah. Damn. Not good. All right, here I'm gonna oh. I'm gonna cover up John's face with. Uh, there you go. Can you do that? Oh, well, I am. So, but not on Discord. You must be recording that somewhere else. Yeah. Oh, so okay. John is now Watto. Oh, that's perfect. I want to see that. There you go, John. Sorry, what's that, John? Couldn't hear you. The Jedi mind tricks don't work on me. <laughs> Hey That's fellas, how are you That's doing, you guys? Way. How you That's doing, guys? Uh, <laughs> my chin looks like a scrotum. Uh, the worst character. Uh, Why? Why, George? Um, hey fellas, who's been playing some stuff? I know I have been playing stuff. I've been playing. Would you like to hear what I've been playing? Very much so. I've been playing... Uh, Wait, do we have a choice? No, you don't have a choice. Uh, I've been okay. playing uh, Dragon Quest Builders 2. Uh, like it that. came out on Game Pass last... What is that? I think Friday. Last Friday? Shit, it was very, very recently. Anyways, it was, uh, it was one of the many, 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 many games that I did not want to spend a dime on. <laughs> but I was like... Very much looking forward to trying. It's um, it's a lot more fun than I thought it was going to be. It's like, I don't know if you've ever seen it or heard of it or anything, but it's like, uh, it's kind of like Minecraft, but only in the fact that 
it's kind of everything's kind of made out of boxes if you know what I mean. Like everything's made out of like cubes. But like, did you switch to first person? I have done first person a couple of times just to see like, just to see what it looked like. It's I don't know. It's pretty unplayable to be quite honest with you. I'm sure on PC maybe a little bit different with like mouse and keyboard because apparently you can use mouse and keyboard on PC to play it. Um, and I could assume, I could imagine that being pretty cool uh, in first person, like mouse and keyboard. But the the controls in third person, like with a controller, are pretty awesome. Like the so it's it's kind of like Minecraft, but there's actually a story and there's actual combat and there's actual like there's like unlockables. Like there's uh, objectives of like oh you have to build this and this and this. And then you get it, and it's really rewarding. You get you unlock a bunch of new recipes that you can build, and uh, like building you build different types of uh, like rooms. So you can build like a barn. You can build like a I don't know a farmer bedroom or something like that. And it just on un- you're just constantly unlocking stuff. But it is a lot of fun. And it's a nice looking game too. It's it basically looks like Dragon Quest Eleven, like the same. I swear to God, it's the same art entirely from dragon quest 11 even the uh like when you beat a group of monsters it's the same music that plays exactly as in dragon quest 11 so it's like i think both games came out almost at the the same time as well so the same music for the last like four games or something oh yeah like yeah the the intro music to dragon quest builders 2 is the same music as dragon quest 11 it's like identical because I tried Dragon Quest XI again re- somewhat recently, so I was like, like, okay, this music is literally the same. It's it's good, though. It's a lot of, a lot of fun. And one of the really cool things about it is uh, it's one of the <clears throat> Play Anywhere games. So if you're playing it on Series X and you're like, eh, I feel like playing on my PC now, it just, boom, you just play it on your PC. Like, your game save, trans- it just goes to the cloud and just you can play, you can resume it and go back and forth vice versa the only problem which we just found out tonight is if you want to play online co-op it's like many 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 hours into the game until you unlock online co-op which is a real pain in the ass i wish now but also maybe 18 hours from now yeah like i don't i have no idea how long it takes to unlock online so why why would they do that as a as a as a uh, model for gameplay i'm thinking well, there's there's very shallow the multiplayer gameplay oh is it did you did you look islands. that's what it is yes well it says co-op multiplayer you'd think that would mean you could work cooperatively with someone to achieve something right that that's mm-hmm. to me that's what that you- you can visit islands and you can build stuff together on the island and like mike was that saying is. that's that's about it so you can't progress the story, I guess. Like, no, no. As you think you might, right, in terms of co-op, but you, no, you cannot. The yeah. only co-op that play is the yeah. Let's build this together and fight off anything that comes at us. That seems a bit. Cool. Yeah, I don't know. I, if anyone's still playing it, and if I'm still playing it, let's be, let's face it. Like by the time anyone unlocks that, I'd, I'd give it a try just for shits and giggles, but. It's it almost sounds like the what was it Fable Two that had like the worst online thing ever. Yeah. It was like oh games online you kid me and you like you get to float around as a goddamn orb or something and yeah, like it was, is this it is this I a like fucking the joke little sister mode. Yeah. No, that was even worse than a little sister mode. You couldn't even do anything. At least with like Bowser's Fury, you could actually like kind of do something. Even though that was definitely a baby baby mode co op. <laughs> Oh, man. But yeah, like, Dragon Quest Builders 2 is pretty much the only thing that I've had time to play. Oh, there you go. Yeah, Bowser's. Yeah, Richard, if, have you played... Uh, shit, what, what's the main game again? Mario, Mario 3D... Super Super Mario 3D World, right? That's... Super yeah. Mario 3D World. Yeah. I'm <clears throat> yeah, confusing I had them. a Wii U. I was one of those idiots. So. Oh, so was I. Yeah. But yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm looking forward to playing... Uh, Bowser's Fury. Honestly, Bowser's Fury is like a it's a very very much standalone game. Like you don't have to even touch 3D World at all. It's like and it was such a weird like different style of Mario game because it was like the enti- basically like the entire it's not really ruining anything but like the entire 
the entire world is kind of available immediately. Kind of like, whatever, like an open world game, like a Breath of the Wild or whatever. It's like you could technically go anywhere you want. You might get decimated if you go over to that far area, but you can go there if you want. It's like Bowser's Fury is kind of the same thing, which was really neat. <clears throat> yeah, it was really fun. I think it was like 10 hours to beat it or something like that. And that was like to, well, get, to every get star. Yeah, to get every star, I could see it being, being that long. I think you and I played it for like, what, three hours maybe and almost got to the end. Yeah, it was... It was so fun. Yeah, it was um, really and good. if you haven't played the, the main core game for that, like it's totally worth checking out too. Oh, hell yeah. Also, if you want to actually beat it and 100% it, you might want to get a few friends to play with you. Oh, yeah. Because uh, just having them bubble is like a way to kind of keep going through the level. Um, it gets to be like pure chaos. Like I, I have talked about it a million times, but like it was Teresa and uh, Andy and I, and we were just like screaming at each other trying to get through this last fucking level and uh it was just like bubble bubble oh my god bubble are you oh he bubbled we're good we're good and like just like fuck man it was uh so it's like it was... the um the side scrolling new super mario bros you like where you could bubble yourself in order to kind of protect yourself essentially like yeah that. like if you get too far behind that's the mechanic yeah. to try to like right, right. not yeah. have you just die right but we abused uh, the hell out of it <laughs> i've heard I've heard, um, who the hell was saying it? I think it was like Mark Medina or some, someone else was saying it, but they were like, Sackboy for the PS5 is like probably the best co-op like action adventure game that they've played in years and years and years. And it, they, cause the thing is it came out, I think at the exact same time as the Mario 3D world did for Switch. And they were just comparing those two mechanics, like the, the, I don't know what you want to call it, like the the ease of doing co-op with younger kids and stuff. Like the Sackboy is very, very accommodating for younger kids like to, to do co-op with. Whereas like 3D World is like, you're too slow, fuck you. And like the, the kid gets k killed and like, ah, wait, wait for me. Whereas Sack Sackboy is more like, no, no, we're good. We'll just like zoom out a little bit and you can still see what you're doing. I... And I, I still haven't played Sackboy, so I can't really say if it's true or not, but I could see that kind of being the case. Because I've, I've played with I've played with Tiff before. I've played, uh, what the hell was it? Rayman uh, Rayman Legends. And they have oh, like yeah. a two-player two, two player co op version of it. She hated playing it with me because I'm just bolting, <laughs> bolting across the screen. And she's like, wait for me. She's constantly falling in pits and dying. I'm like, Hurry up! <laughs> it's taking you so long. It's not. Yeah, it's not a wonder why she stopped playing with me. So. <laughs> um. Yeah. How about you, oh, Richard? Yeah. What have you? Uh, what have you been playing? Oh, you know, still playing Hades. Um, oh yeah. Yeah. It's a slow burn on Hades. Every so often, I'll just pick it up and do some runs where I still have yet to beat. Uh, Hades. Um, no, no spoiler, really, but um, yeah. Uh, but yeah, that aside, I bought a Series X. I think so. Oh I yeah, baby! Down. So I'm part of that uh, group of of green now, uh, <laughs> and tried out uh, Outriders with uh, John last week. Yes. Yeah. Had a good time with it. It's really, really fun. How uh, level do you man? Which which class yeah, uh which class did you end up choosing again? I can't remember. Trickster? Trickster, yeah. Yeah. The one that zips around. Yeah. Nice. Good. Yeah. It was a fun one. Uh mechanics are super solid. Art looks fantastic. System was okay to use. I, I think I mentioned in one of our chats it was just like, yeah, oh, the UI is I'm just not a fan of the Series X UI. Um, it, yeah. The Outriders UI. That, that whole card idea. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. That, that metro, pseudo metro look that they tried to. Right. Build. Yeah, it's very reminiscent of like the Windows 8 cards. Remember when those came out? Like, yeah. well, hell, even Windows 10 like tries to do that whole yeah. thing. I'm just like, I, I, think... I never use that. Like, yeah. I never use, like, hit the Windows key to use the start menu. Ever. Nope. <laughs> I'm <laughs> like, thanks for trying, guys, but I'm good. Yeah. But um, I'm Anyways, happy to have yeah. it. I'm happy. Uh, oh, I also played uh, Viva Piñata. Ah, uh, oh, nice. Was it as uh, great as you remember it? 
it's it looks fantastic it looks really good oh yeah uh, also a period of my life where i was just getting high every night playing video games so like lots of very odd nostalgic memories for it now that i'm older and sober er um but yeah no it uh, it was just a ton of fun i played it for a couple of hours and you know hit a few milestones and just very relaxing enjoyable game uh, this is the first one the the trouble in paradise or trouble on whatever the second there's trouble was. in paradise yeah yeah um i don't remember playing as much of that one so maybe i'll give that one a whirl next, i honestly don't think i ever played that one yeah i don't know if i even yeah i'm pretty sure i played it but i yeah i don't remember I played that shit out of the first one. Oh my god! Yeah. I yeah, lots and lots. Hours and hours. I alternated between that and Guitar Hero. Essentially, that was like my life. And when I first Viva moved here, Pinata and Guitar Hero. What a it was essentially that. What a man. combo! I here, I had like one <laughs> friend of a friend who ended up became becoming a really good friend, but that was like the only other person I knew here. I was at work, and I'd come back to like the modified dorm I was staying in for the summer as I was doing some uh, some work that summer. And I would just turn on my 360 and play either Guitar Hero or um, uh, Viva Pinata. So that's amazing. If I can if I, if I can find Guitar Hero too, uh, I would totally play that. But I uh, well these I days it's like yeah these days forget it. Yeah, that's it. It costs a small that. fortune, which yep. is hilarious. Even though there's yeah. like guitars need... gl glittering landfills everywhere, I'm like I know. You need some... adapters and stuff now, I think, even to get the guitars to work latency-wise with the systems I... and stuff. It's all kinds of crazy shit you need. I wanted to get Rock Band for the kids to play That's through right. and everything. And it was like, I looked into it. It would have been about four or 500 bucks. I'm like, no, I'm good. I was like, I was willing to pay maybe 100 150 Yeah. Maybe. Tops. It's It would have cost me like four or 500 bucks. I'm like, no, forget it. Yeah. Which, it's, not, it's not happening. I can buy a guitar for my kid for, for less being, than that. Yeah, that's true. If we're being honest, I think I Im I imported Rock Band before it was out here in Canada. Uh, I think I paid close to like three or four hundred dollars for it. So, but you it, it, it was almost that much. Probably. It was almost that much though. Like yeah. even yeah, I remember paying three hundred. Yeah, three hundred bucks Canadian when it first came out. So okay, maybe I didn't get shafted that badly. It was only yeah. I, it definitely was more than. Obviously, with the exchange rate and everything. Oh, yeah. yeah. Very random story, but I do remember paying... Because uh, I lived in Sarnia, so like Port Huron was right across the border. And they had a Babbage's in there. Or, yeah. sorry, sorry, it wasn't Babbage's, it was Software Etc., which was owned by the same company. Okay. Anyways, they sold... I remember buying Street Fighter 2 for Super Nintendo almost three months before it came out in Canada. Whoa. And I paid ninety nine ninety nine US for the game. Oh my god! And that was back it's when worth every penny. Oh fuck yeah! It was, I would have paid twice that, but it was like back then the exchange rate was uh, maybe a little bit worse than it is now. So the game was like, I probably paid about one hundred and forty, hundred fifty bucks for the game. Wow. But I didn't even, even I didn't even blink. Game. I saw it and I was like, I have to have it. Give it to me now. Like I. Yeah. And I played the living crap out of that game for months and months. Yeah. How did how did both of us get it early? Because like I was the only one in my whole group of friends that had it at the time. Well, you... like, it was my mom that found it somehow at some like little rinky dinky shop. It must have like the copies must have leaked somehow to like some retailers. I don't know. Yeah. Because like the main retailer like Zellers or Wol uh, Wolco. And like all like the Canadian chains that were around consumers then, consumers distributing, consumers distributing, yes, TV. <clears throat> like none of them, none of them had it because they were all going through like legit Canadian suppliers, probably right. Whereas like the little rinky dink shops were like, I don't give a shit, I'll buy it from whoever can get it to me. Yeah. So, hmm. anyways, Nick, what are you playing? Are you playing anything? I, I tried R Type Two the other day. Oh, that's and, right, R Type uh, yeah. Final Two or R Type Two. Yeah, R Type Final Two. It was, it, you know, and honestly, it was good. I, I have a, a soft spot for shumps. And, uh, I mean, not like bullet shooter hell kind of games like uh, Ikurgura and uh, any of the other kind of Japanese. Or, like, anything from Cave tends to be, like, ludicrous. You, you play it until you die, and you basically say, okay, I've had enough. I don't need hand-eye coordination that's going to rival, like, an F <laughs> F1 driver car, right? Situational awareness of, like, a fighter pilot type of thing. 
Um, so I, I booted it up, and of course it was in Japanese with English dubs, and I was just like, all right, well, that's interesting. Uh, you know, no region detection for yeah, that's localization. Weird. You know, okay, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and of course it was made by some company in America, right? Or at least that was their company name. Very misleading. Um, <laughs> it, it was good. I, I, I thought it was good. I, I, the pacing is exactly what I would expect from an R-type game. Uh, slow, methodical, uh, one wrong yeah. move, and you basically are screwed. Uh, you die and you lose all your power ups. There's no, you can't just get them back like a lot of the modern games. They just kind of continue where you are. Our type is methodical this way. It'll set you back a little bit, and then it'll be like, and you still got to fight everything like you had power ups, but you have no power ups. <laughs> yeah. Can and, you can you uh, still shoot the can you still <laughs> shoot like the ball out and like yeah and then yeah, re yeah, yeah. reattach it to the back of your ship and everything. Same mechanics. Ah, oh, nice. Okay. And, and, there, yep. and of course, there's different ships, right? And, and so as you level so cool. up, you can customize your ships, and they do give you a little bit of extra. And they start you off with three different variations. Uh, each one has a, a sort of different take on the whole uh, laser beam power up kind of configuration. It depends on yeah. how you want to kind of cater your gameplay. I think R Type Leo was like that too, uh, where they kind of gave you different ship options, and the ships kind of did different things. Uh, I R Type Final actually for uh, the PlayStation when that first came out, uh, it was very much like that. You had different ships and different weapons. Yeah. Uh, I, I didn't want to waste time trying to figure out how to change the localization. Uh, both Mark and John kind of said, "Oh, hey, you got to go into the menu and play around with it." I'm like, I don't want to play around with the menu, so I just haven't gotten there yet. But uh, yeah, that's my big gripe. Like, why would you ship a game? in a North American atmosphere when you don't have localization detection natively enabled on a game. like I wonder if it has something to do with the fact that it was a physical, because you bought... Oh, no, you didn't buy physical. You bought digital. So digital. there's literally no reason for it to be like that. Because Mark, Mark bought the physical version of the game, and he still had it default to Japanese, I think. Yeah, yeah. they could have fixed that with a patch by now. Yeah, you know what? It's a small, it's a smaller game, right? It's like a single A kind of style game. It's not. Oh yeah, yeah. It's like, not an the, the indie first... game, but it's also not anywhere $50. near a triple A game. No, yeah. no, no, fifty dollars. And you know what though? They they throw it's like three D ish. Uh, yeah. They have some kind of callbacks to the original art tape. Like your first enemy is like the first enemy on the first stage of the first game in the arcade, oh. except the main boss is like frozen and it's just the thing that's shooting at you. And I mean, it's. It's almost I like, love yeah, that. yeah, I love that. <laughs> it's like you playing any of the more recent Gradius style games. Oh, yeah. Very neon, glowy. Everything is shimmery and whatever. So, uh, it, it's gonna. I'll, I'll replay it uh, once I can read all the <laughs> words on the screen. Nice. Um, I know John, you were playing Art Type as well, right? Yeah, I was playing a bit today. Just to see what it was like. Only played for the first few missions in that stage. Uh, but it's everything that Nick said. And all the feelings of nostalgia kind of bubble up to the surface with it too. Oh, so yeah. it was lots of fun, man. And really easy, really easy achievements to get in it too. So. Oh, that's the most important part. Most important part. Besides that and having lots of fun. Actually, the museum in that you can go through. Yeah, you were saying something about that. What is, like, do you just get to see, like, all the previous ships and power-ups, like, from all the games or something, or what? Uh, a little bit more concrete. So if they drop you into a giant room and you're just kind of looking down, uh, again, I didn't know what the controls were, so I was just kind of playing with this thing. Uh, so you can actually walk around this giant warehouse, and they're, like, model-sized versions of the ships that you can fly around. You can what? walk around them and inspect all the details and shit like that. And That's cool. Every, every time you unlock one, obviously, you can do the same thing. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it, it's pretty fun. That sounds and awesome. It's kind of like you get, like, a little virtual tour of all those past ships. In. And like Nick is saying, as you unlock more, you get to position and take a look and fill yourself in on all those little details but besides our type final two uh mlb the show 21 has been fun uh, a little bit of a learning curve for me because i haven't played like one of those mlb games dude for a long time. tell me about it like did you so did you uh tell me which like styles or whatever you chose because it was, it was so overwhelming 
It was like, which one of these five different styles of pitching do you want to use? I'm like, whoa, what the hell? Yeah, so <laughs> I don't remember the the. I used the one where you can, or sorry, for my batting style was you just use the joystick on which direction you want to hit the ball. So like go straight oh, up or okay. go to the left or go to the right. And that made it really easy for you to figure out right the directional control that you want to put your ball. Um, but for pitching, uh, I was just like, let me choose the pitch that I want with the button. <laughs> so like X is like a curveball or yeah. <clears throat> right or like why is like my friggin fastball so and that i liked it because you could target exactly where in the in the box uh where the hot zones are and then you're like right i'm gonna have to curve it in because the guy's he's a left standing batter so i'm gonna hit that i think so i th chose i think i chose the exact same pitching it was it was it's fun man oh yeah but it was like very did... strategic and everything but it was like it was very, really easy to get into, but it was like at the same time it was, it was still challenging, but it was it was really really good, surprisingly good. <clears throat> Once you get past that initial learning curve and you start to get into the season, you get a rhythm for it completely, and then you can just start hitting homers and like crazy. I haven't gone through the whole build your own character yet. I'm curious what that's gonna be like, and then. After MLB 21, we tried out, what, the Dungeon of the Endless? <laughs> yeah, which was... Uh... Who made that? Amplitude made that, right? Yeah, I don't know who the hell Amplitude is. Like, as a developer, I'm like, I love the game Amplitude, which was done by Harmonix, oh, I think. But... Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, Dungeon, so... Dungeon of the Endless, yeah, that was... Yeah. <laughs> I... I don't know how to explain it, right? It's like a, a take on an old school kind of like adventure game and puzzle game kind of mixed into two. So you have to take the crystal that you own and bring it to, or sorry, the crystal that's on your ship and take it to the exit. And you have to, you've got these uh, little components that you can build along that path. To, so it's kind of like tower defense for your crystal that you take with your party over to this place. Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, you also control a character that can shoot and do all that kind of stuff. But it's like... They made, they oh. made all the other endless stuff, endless legend, endless space. Yeah, endless space, I've... Okay, so this is... Maybe this is a similar type of game that is endless space. It was such a weird, unique game. The art style was actually quite cool. The, the lighting was awesome. Oh, totally awesome, man. I was like, holy shit, some parts of this game were really, really good, but, like, I I couldn't get used to the fact that you can't freely walk around. Yeah, you have to like you can position click. the camera into yeah. the room that you want to go, and then you have to click into that room. And Yeah, and, and your guy just goes up. to the room, and then he just does whatever he's supposed to do in the room. You can't, you have no control over what he does in the room or what, it's really weird. Yeah. It was so it was it was fun for what did we play it for like an hour or something like that I had, I had fun for the hour but I was like yes. okay that was cool next <laughs> I I could see it having many different layers to it and it's gonna get a little bit more complex but nothing that I really want to sink my time into because no yeah uh, however Tetris Effect that we played that night was fantastic oh shit especially I forgot, I forgot about that yeah. So yeah, that, that, was, that was the first time. Was that the first time you'd played the connected mode, like the online? Yes, that's, yes, man. That was the first time that I've done so like the three player. Multiple. Yeah, like the three player kind of like every. I don't really know what it is. I think it's like every hundred lines or something that are finished. Like you, all three players that are playing together join up into one massive Tetris board, which is. I know it sounds like yeah, whatever, but it's insane when it happens. Yes. You're like, holy shit. And like the especially like the first time it ever happened, you're like, oh my god, this is incredible. This is so cool. So I liked how it, you have to have a little bit of a strategy in play where you're gonna lay <laughs> your bricks when you all come together. <laughs> the number of times that we yell at each other, going, "No, that's my spot. That's my spot," which is fantastic. Added that extra multiplayer dynamic to it. Oh yeah. And then we kicked the crap out of the the, the AI guy that we were playing against. Oh, he rocked his ass. And then I'm I'm at the tail end of Ghost of Tsushima. Tail end. I thought you I thought you finished that. No, I'm I've got the last tail to do, which is go fight the con. He's not like you, Nick. He fi he finishes games. 
The because I've done every single. Oh, Lucas talking. <laughs> hey, I finished games. I finished lots of games these days. What's your completion percentage on Steam again? Continue, John. What was your uh, what was your <laughs> Ghost of Tsushima? <laughs> so I'm I've completed every single tale, and I've just got to, you know, fight the last boss now. That's it, man. That's awesome. all I've been playing good recently. For you. Thanks. That game's so good. Oh. It looks incredible. It is so goddamn Plays good. I don't so know well. why. Why? Uh, well, I know why I'm not playing it because there's a million people, other games. Man. Yeah, I'm bad. Oh, yeah, I'm a bad we're, person. We're bad people. We're bad people. Yeah. That's a, that that is a game worth playing through. Yeah. Well, so is Valhalla. So is Valhalla. Maybe. But then again, so was Odyssey, I so was Origins. I, I, think, I think if somebody were to give me a toss-up between Valhalla or Ghost of Tsushima, I, I would have a hard time saying Valhalla. Uh, I, I played it for what it was worth, and it was okay, but so linear. And I think from a visual standpoint, like Ghost of Tsushima, even on a PlayStation 4, like it still looks stupid good. Valhalla has its redeemable factors, but honestly... It's like any other, you know, Assassin's Creed game. Like, it's very formulaic and whatever. And, and I guess there's aspects of Ghost of Shishima. But, I mean, like, it's just... It, it's so pretty. I mean, like, you just can't <laughs> get over it. And even on a PS4 Pro, like, it is still so pretty. I appreciate well, the... the transition because, actually, that's the game I'm playing is Valhalla. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm playing on, on the PC with all the bells and whistles, and uh, nice. it's like 4K, 60 something FPS. It's pretty. I think it's really pretty, and it's got HDR, which is actually fairly well implemented. Um, I'm really enjoying it. I haven't. I don't have firsthand experience with Ghost of Tsushima. Tsushima. Uh, do you guys know if it's 4K native Ghost of Tsushima, or is it like a checkerboard situation? I'm not actually sure. Because it's, Cause con like, it's I'm console wondering, only, so it's probably checkered. Because if I was going to direct compare them, like something like that would really dock some points from Ghosts, right? I'll tell you this much, like it. So I played. What the hell did I play? It was a few. It was a, I played a few like really really good looking games on series on sorry on PS5, mm -hmm. and then I went back to playing Ghost of Tsushima, and I noticed that like it still looks really good, but it's. The environments are a bit more sparse, like it's not as it's not as a uh, taxing of a game, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. So like, if it was 4K 60, I would like native 4K 60. I wouldn't be surprised because it's not, it's not a extremely taxing game. There's not a whole lot of stuff going on, if you know what I mean. Like, there's some scenes though. The 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 way they do, the way they shoot some scenes and stuff like the cherry blossom trees and like the fields of like all the crazy shit blowing around and like it looks incredible but like i think technologically it's not all that difficult to do it's just they managed to make it look insanely good it is checkerboard 4k with hdr yeah oh there you go. gotcha the hdr would make it look very pretty i'm sure it sure yeah. makes it look super good oh it's incredible yeah, it man the sun really yeah like the sunrise and stuff yeah the, the haiku the stuff. I'm like, holy shit, this looks good, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, Valhalla definitely looks good. Um, yeah, it's it's. I don't know. It's hard to to say which one looks better because they're they're very different I see games. It like back to back, like side by side or whatever. Um, yeah. Just just today, I just 100 percent completed. <clears throat> <laughs> I think he said carrion. Carrion. I, I just beat carrion. I 100%ed uh, it. Oh my God, that's so funny. Got it, a thousand you know, achievement points. Just for enjoying crazy. a game. Yeah, it was really good. It was just so fun being the monster from the thing. It yeah. actually... it's, it's amazing how they made that mechanic where you could literally spit out. And of course, even, even your movement, uh, when we were playing it, um, <clears throat> It was funny because the bigger you got, the harder it became to control because yeah, your true. body was wanting to shoot out in different areas. And so it, <laughs> yeah. it almost made sense to stay at a medium size, but you kind of traded off mobility with some of your larger weaponry and, and abilities. So, uh, But it was neat because some of the abilities would only work if you were really small mm -hmm. versus if you were too big, right? Mm -hmm. 
you know, laying the laying the eggs in the pools or whatever the heck it was. Ah, like, you you can go collect that after. Yeah, oh, it's yeah. so friggin' gross, man. Jesus. I, I love the uh, eating people animation. Like that's uh, especially that's... vicious. Oh yeah, yeah tearing oh, them, so up, tearing them a half, and then just rolling over them, and, like absorbing <laughs> them. No spoilers, but the ending was actually quite uh, unexpected and pretty cool. Oh, oh really? The way okay, they ended, cool. Yeah. God damn it! Maybe I should finish it. It's not a long well, game, is YouTube it? It's like it six hours. Like... Isn't it like six hours long? Or... Very short. Very very short. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know what? I might actually end up beating it because I I I, 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 I sunk like maybe two three hours into the game. Yeah. It's it's uh, I would say it's sinister. I would I would call the ending ending of it fairly sinister. <laughs> Yeah, right, that's not, yeah, fuck, okay, fine. Yeah, I, actually, I can, you know, I can, it, play, it, I can it, finish that. Speaking about a, a platforming, actually, uh, Aiden and I actually just started playing um, Ori. Um, oh, breaking. Uh, that, Don't give first one. I kid, not oh. Will of the Wisps, uh, The Blind Forest. Can't say yeah. good things about that game, man. Honestly, like, he, I tried to get him into it for a little while, and he was really hesitant. I mean, I, I think mentally he had to kind of work him, himself up to it. And I said, listen, if you ever want to really play a good game, you got to get into Ori. And so he finally got into it. And honestly, the kid won't shut up about it. Like, uh, he's good. like constantly, and he's like, he wanted to play Will of the Wisp. And I said, I think that one's slightly better in terms of overall look and feel. Now, he's only playing it on like a 1080p. So, I mean, like, it plays exceptionally well no matter what. Um, I'm playing it on my TV, and I think this is 4K enabled. I know Will of the Wisp has got some really good 4K stuff to it. So. Uh, yeah, so far I'm really enjoying it, and I, he just goes on about it. So, yeah, I'm glad. Oh. I'm glad the younger generation likes a classic game like that. You know what? I want to get him into like some of the Mega Man games afterwards too. Like, just kind of recycle some of the old stuff that he he's at a point where I think he's getting bored of some of the newer stuff. Like, we we were playing Outriders pretty religiously, and then the game just kind of started crapping out on us far too often. Yeah, um, and then we started playing uh, Rocket League uh, duos, um, and he is an exceptionally good Rocket League player, as most kids that are. 13 oh my god! With yeah. Reaction speeds, like whatever. He still can't beat me, which is fabulous. Makes me feel good about myself. <laughs> he, he's such like, a fun game. He, he's he rolls around with a big bag under his legs, and uh, he's like, "Oh, you're not gonna beat me." And sure enough, like three out of four times I've beaten him in a row. So, uh, yeah, yeah. It's a humbling experience when dad can still beat, you know, the kid type of thing. So <laughs> you should uh, get him into Mega Man 11. Uh, we're going to get there. Uh, I, I don't want to force it just because he's got a kind of genuinely have interest. Like he, I try to get him into, um, what, uh, the link, uh, for the switch. Shoot. I can't, why is the name? Which escaping one? Me? Yeah. Which one? Breath of the Wild. Uh, well, yeah, yeah, thank you. And he was like, I enjoy it, but he really wasn't into it. So he's kind of all over the place. So, hmm. Speaking of all over the place, that was a terrible segue. How about uh, some Video Game 20 questions? Let's do it. It's who, who, li who, likes, who likes video games? Anyone? Uh, is that no one? one? Of the questions? Yes. Do we have Andy with us? The Are you here, Andy? Yeah. I am. I am. Hello. Uh, Hello, hello. Hi. Hey, everybody. So, uh, how about you ask? How about you ask me some questions and I'll answer them. How's that sound? Was well, this game released before two thousand? Before two thousand? Uh, nope. Was this game produced before twenty ten? Nope. Fairly recent. Ooh. But I would would you say the last eleven years fairly recent though? Yeah. yeah. So what would that is that like three sixty okay, so it'd be either three sixty or Xbox One. Yeah. Twenty thirteen was PS4 and Xbox One. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh hey Dan. Hey, uh man. was this game released after twenty fifteen? Uh, yes. Nope. Even okay, so, oh, so definitely modern console. Well, how many games, uh, old legacy games, were still produced on the older gen hardware post the... Uh, yeah, a bunch. Yeah, so it's still sort of misleading. Should we ask if it's like a remake or original? Yeah. Ask Dan, or uh, uh, Annie, ask him. 
Well, I just remember we usually like confer about like the the questions before just blurting it out. Yeah, that's, no, good. that's, that's good. It's cool. Good etiquette. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, Manners. Is it original or is it like a remake? You have to. It's a yes, no. Oh, oh, uh. um, hmm. Yeah, you could say like. Yeah, so give me a second. I'm trying to think how to phrase this. Or, yeah. Well, if it if if what you're asking is either or, you know, one or no, that's not a good question. He wants to know if it's a remake, right? Right, Andy? Because if it's not a remake, it's an original. That's what I mean. Like it's 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 going to be one or the other, right? Was so that okay. helpful to you, Andy? If he answers that, no, no, I think yeah, that's a, that's a good way of putting it. So is it, is it a remake, Dan? No. Okay, so something original. Was this game, was this game, developed by a Japanese publisher? No. Let's let's nail down the year. So like after twenty fifteen could still be PS four, Xbox One, PS five could be PC, could be like there's any that we don't even know if it's console or PC first. How about we ask if it's console or PC? Um. Got to be yes, no question. Yeah, and especially in this era, like pretty much everything is released on both. But you're not wrong. We we could start there. I was I was thinking more even just the. Well, I guess we've got a six year. Yeah, if you want to go for the year, go for the year, man, because that that'll definitely narrow it no, down. No, I think you're right. I, I think we can we can ask about. Uh... Okay, hey Dan, uh, did this game release? on PC. Yes. <clears throat> Shit. So it still could be a console game and a PC game. Uh, are we, just to clarify, originally released on PC? Is that well, what you We didn't ask that. <laughs> no, it was uh, hey Dan, was this a multi-platform game? Yes. Okay. So at least PC and one console. So something came to Steam and then got ported to console. Yeah, could be that or vice versa. The other way around. Yeah. Could be something like Resident Evil 2. Oh, wait, that's a remake. Uh, yeah, you, also you said uh, Jap it's not a Japanese developer, so it's got to be Western. Or European. I guess that's Western as well, right? I, yeah. yeah. Mm. Uh, uh, do we want to narrow down like a genre? I mean, PC games predominantly roll over the place, but like if we want to genre because we, we start getting into like the skyrims and uh you know because those are really popular kind of around well, the let, let's do that first let's let's ask if this was like uh you want to ask if this was like a critically acclaimed or well-received game you want to start in like a bit of a weird reverse order yeah you know lot, that's like... a lot of genres right like we could ask like is it an action game is it an rpg like we could go on for like five or six questions before you even you, hit the... Do you, you want to ask like if it's Metacritic was above ninety percent? Oh, that, that's really <laughs> niche. It, but, but, but has but anybody ever like, like purposely like, like, a, like a bad game just from like you know the, the the recesses of like video game history, or is it is it always been good games that we've been doing in this this bed? There has definitely not always <sighs> been good games. No, definitely not. Do, do we like... want? Do we want to narrow it down to say did it release like through Steam, like a through a third party, or was it like independent, or is it just assumed that it would have been? Through... Like you're you're biting off like a ninety-five five percent chance there that he's like, well, between Epic, Steam, GOG, yeah. like it's gonna hit one of those probably, right? Yeah, but Epic wouldn't have been around at that point. Twenty, uh, no, you're well, saying it's after, after twenty fifteen. Yeah. So. Can we yeah, ask if it's a, like a third-party developer? Okay, let's do this. Let's let's ask some like easy or qualifying questions like multiplayer, single player. Part of a series like, would be helpful. Part of a series, yeah. Like let's do those ones first. We already named this game. <laughs> yeah, we haven't started that one yet. <laughs> okay. okay. Oh, then, is is this part of a series? <clears throat> no. So one off. That was fun. Cyberpunk! <laughs> um, yeah, you're not wrong. Uh, hey, Dan, does this game have multiplayer? Yes. 
not, not cyberpunk. cyberpunk. So, yet. Not part of a series, has <laughs> multiplayer. This could be anything like Fortnite or, you know, Player Unknowns, PUBG thing. This could be any one of those, like, Apex Legends, like any of those. Um, well, I, I we think could, could... we could ask if this game has single player. That would start to really narrow it down. Because if it has single and multi, not part of a series. Yeah. Do it. Go. Well, you should ask if there's a single player campaign, I guess, right? Yeah. Yes. Hey, Dan, is a single player campaign? Yes. Yeah. Ghost of Tsushima. <clears throat> would the latest Call of Duty fall under that? No, because it's part of a series, right? Oh, fuck. <laughs> How about... Shit. Oh, shit. So it could be Apex Legends. Unless no, because it doesn't have, doesn't have a single-player campaign. That, that, was, that was part of the qualifier, right? Like, now it's got to be kind of a, a relatively... You know, I, I don't have to say... It doesn't have to be a successful game, but it's got to have multiplayer and a single-player campaign, not part of a series, and oh, multi-platform. Fuck. So what fits into that? I can't even think of a single so game. Ghost right of Tsushima is not multi-platform either. It could be everything from like Titanfall. I oh, know part of a series. Yeah, uh, that's it. Uh, Dude, I was thinking the exact same game. Titanfall should we find 2. out if you can shoot yeah. things in this game? Would that be helpful? Yeah, guys? yeah. Now can we you shoot things that. in this game. Or do you want to do like camera camera perspective, or do we just want to assume that it's probably going to be a first person? Well, I think we have well, to shoot things. In I'm screen. going broad, right? So, like, we know, regardless of that, at least we know it's not a fucking sports game. Or yeah, like... Go ahead, Dan. Tell us if we can shoot things. Oh, yeah, you can shoot things. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, you're going to, oh, you're going to shoot some things. Eh? I feel like oh, it's a third yeah. person or a first person shooter. Or a we can ask. Now we can ask. Hey, Dan, is this a third person perspective? Yes, yes. Bet you it's Outriders. Ah, that's it's true. It's pretty, like, current. Like, would that be something he's doing just to throw us off because it's so current? <laughs> Maybe, yeah. We've never really done, like, something that current. Hey, Dan, did this game release on the current series of consoles? No. Yeah, well, not that current. Not Outriders. Well, hold on. Uh, oh, but but you said it was released on PC, right? Did we ever uh, oh. understand if it was PC first? So no, we didn't understand that. No, we don't know that. Okay. So just to clarify, what are current consoles? Series PS5, X and PS5, Series X, and Switch. Series S. Switch would also. Anyone who has anything. So the current <sighs> gen. Then yes, sorry. So release on release on current consoles, yes. So sorry. And Switch. And PS4 and Xbox One. Okay. Uh, we already know that it's cross platform. Oh boy. That's fucking tough, man. Now you can start into like the like we asked the Japanese one, you want to start into like the West or East? Well we already know it's not a Japanese developer. Yeah, that's what it yeah. It's either European or North American, right? Yeah. I mean, I guess it could be Chinese or Korean. Or Maybe. Like... Okay. Yeah, usually we ask that more as like the West versus East question versus the country. Should we find out if you play as a human? Would that be helpful? Yeah. Dan, do you play as a human in this game? No. Oh. Oh. Okay, that's a big win, guys. That's, big win. that's good information. Well, guys, I'm going to shut it right there. Is it going to be some garbage like One Night Werewolf, Ultimate Werewolf? <laughs> Is although I think he plays. Uh, I, I don't want to ask the game yet, because there's a game that just pops into my head immediately. Bio Mutant. Well, no, Interesting. No, it's, not... it's an unreleased video game. That would be an asshole thing to do. <laughs> We've never done that before. Dan here selling you. It's not an unreleased game. God damn it. Okay. Okay. So you definitely shoot things as a non-human. Like that's interesting to me, and it's multiplayer. Did, was there like a Conquer re-release or remake or something like that recently? Or not that came out uh, but, after 2015. But, but, but a, this is okay. part of a series. Yeah, and this is an original, not a remake, right? Yeah. Wait, do we know that? Oh, you know, yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, not a remake. 
I'd say Plants vs. Zombies, but Plants vs. Zombies <clears throat> is a series. Yeah, and mobile and all kinds of stuff. Oh, I wonder if this is on mobile, too. Uh, I was just going to say Among Us, because you're not really Ooh, a person, yeah. right? Can you shoot things? But is it a shooter though? Oh no, you can't shoot anything. In uh, he definitely takes out a gun and executes someone if you. That's <laughs> true. 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 I don't true. think that you counts as a get... shooter though. I don't think Dan's enthusiastic. No. Oh yes, you well, shoot it's, things. We didn't say shooter. The question was, can you shoot things? There's no single player oh. in Among Us. No. Yeah. Okay. There's good no point. Good point. That's true. Sorry, I just point. felt like nipping that in the bud. That's Thank helpful. You. Yeah, that is true. Uh, do you guys think that if we found it, if this had realistic visuals, that would be helpful at this point? Sure. Well, you know what? That doesn't eliminate, like, card games, right? So, oh, shoot things. Never shooting. mind. Well, that would have to be, like, like a, a shooter card game. A yeah, combat okay. card game, and that's not... I can't yeah, think of I, a single I think realistic game. visuals help here, because... But remember, like, not a human. Chances are probably not realistic visuals. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's skip that question, then. Good, good okay. call, man. Let's... Uh, hey, hey, Dan. Hey, Richard. Is this... A strategy game? Nope. Okay. Oh, you had a theory, huh? Ed, I thought this was going the way of like XCOM. That's 15 questions, by the way. Yeah, yeah. we're getting pretty deep in there. You got four questions left, and I guess. Western developed third-person shooter. One of these. We don't, has we don't, to we be... don't know it's a shooter though. No, well, you yeah, well, you don't know it's a shooter. So. One of the one of the questions can be: uh, Have we mentioned the game? Now is not a terrible time. We haven't really mentioned a lot of games. We mentioned a few. We could even include, like, the podcast, too, right? Oh, we my goodness. Start saying a lot of games. <laughs> I'm just trying to think of, like, any shooter that has a I wish a I could think of a game that matches the criteria. Yeah, like, I'm having... I'm stumped here. I mean, like, at modern games, I at least had to have a, an inkling of understanding about so it's you know it, he's gonna tell us we're all gonna be like yeah pretty much uh multi-platform too and multiplayer and you don't play as a human i was thinking of like prey or something like that right but i don't like think a there's a multiplayer though. it's like there's more than one prey there's also oh, more than true. one prey That's, yeah okay Doom's eliminated, Far Cry's eliminated, Uncharted yeah, yeah. eliminated. Those are all gone. Yeah. What, okay, what, uh, what games What games have multiplayer where you don't play as a human? What about No Man's Sky? Is if you that, think that's uh, a vehicle. A human. Right? We, are we, you we human in that game? Yeah. Yeah, but we haven't disqualified, are you a person? We just know that you're not a person. Yeah, it could right? be a robot. Like you, you could be a vehicle, right? It could sure. be a shooter of some sort, right? Sure, There's. Sure, sure. Yeah. Um, oh, can, I, can you do a multiplayer with that um, that game that came with PS5? I'm trying to remember now. Oh, uh, Destruction uh, Astro. No, I was thinking Astro, but no. Oh, oh Astro's player. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's not multi-platform. That's right. Also That's not multi-platform. Probably Japanese. Oh boy, this well. one's gonna this one's gonna be bad. This one's not gonna look good for us. Uh, I, I gotta ask just because I gotta disqualify it. Are there vehicles in this game? Um, no. Okay. If there, like, I, I, I will apologize in advance. If there are, I never saw them. So. Wait, wait, wait. Hmm. Maybe the Mass Effect remake. That's part of a series. Oh, series, man. Oh shit! Yeah, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, unreleased. Comes out on Friday. Close. Oh, it's still on release? Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Hey, Dan. Yep. Have we mentioned this game? Nope. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Guys, two, I think we're in trouble. Two questions, then, I guess. Yeah. Gosh. Hmm. Wait a minute. Uh, uh, Ratchet and Clank. What about that? Part of the series. series. Do we, you want to ask if we can customize our playable character, or if we have multiple playable characters? One of those types of. Questions? I would. I would. If there's multiplayer, I would almost just assume you can, right? And yeah, that's true. Jesus, everything I think of is a series, man. <laughs> I know. We don't play. A lot it's gonna of be like some weird side scroller, like Hollow Knight or something like that. 
Do any like Metroidvanias? That well, are like you, you guys were playing, you guys were playing. Yeah, you were playing Broforce the other day, right? It, it can literally be anything within that genre. Right. So, yeah, you're not wrong. Do so what's something like that where you don't play as humans then? Yeah. That also Hollow Knight, single player. Uh, you know, like in, any of those games. I mean, technically, you could say Ori, right? I mean, you are shooting stuff. The series, um, though. Um, no, 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 no. I, under, I, I understand. That third person perspective, though, like Metroidvania, third. Oh, person third person. Like, well, that Returnal would be side is kind of like the only one that. Yeah, I wouldn't call those third person. Although no, because the they're plat shared. platformer, side scroller. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Well, we're thinking more of third person, like Resident Evil kind of perspective probably right over the shoulder yeah yeah well Camera following out, the player kind of like outriders type of thing right it's mm -hmm. uh same same kind of perspective oh, asymmetric yeah. but yeah um so maybe you play as furries <laughs> <laughs> i would definitely know what it was then but alan <laughs> wonderland didn't come out on like more than one console did it Who? yeah came out on pc and xbox i think Sorry, which game? Balan Wonder Wonderworld. World. World. Oh. Mike's favorite game. Do you do you play as a human in that game? I think so. Play as a shitty little human, I think. <laughs> <laughs> shitty little human. Shitty little human. <laughs> All right, guys, let's throw it on the pile. We can do this. Big guesses. We're some big picture guesses. Um, maybe Fez? No, you don't shoot or anything. Never mind. Um, Fez is a good one, though. I still would wouldn't be surprised if it's person. an indie game. Yeah, with multiplayer and single player, Fez didn't have multi. But I like where your head is at. Um, except Fez also. You think finding out if it was well received would be helpful? I guess. Like. Because if it's well received, then we should fuck it, fucking probably know about it, right? Okay. Hey Dan, yeah. did this game score over ninety on Open Critic? Um, I will allow you to look. I'll just, I'll just, <laughs> I'll just say yes. This it was, it was well game. received. It was, well, it was quite well received. Very well received, in fact. Is this helpful, gamers? Sort of. Okay. Now really let me. Guess. Let me just elaborate on one oh. question that you asked. You said third... Okay, so when you asked about the whole third-person perspective thing... Oh, damn it. I knew that was going to come back. I knew it. I could tell. Because you guys were saying, like, is it first person or third person? And then you're like, Dan, is it third person? I'm like, uh, yes. Mm -hmm. So just, just keep that in mind. Turnovers, you can switch perspectives. Yeah, but you're... Not necessarily, just don't get stuck up on the... Anyways, that's all I'll say. Stuck up on third person. I'll just say that. I don't know what this game is, but I hate it already. <laughs> <laughs> you have one You have one question and one guess. Okay. Someone ask if they've played this game. I, I don't play a lot of video games, and I don't think Dan knows which games I Andy play. Andy plays a lot of video games. Period, so. <laughs> yeah, so someone who plays moderately a few video games asked this question, like Nick. You know what, I, I was going to think about this. You know, would any of us have played this game in the past? Like, right, has this right. ever come up in a discussion in the past? Mm -hmm. Right, because if it hasn't, then I really want to qualify what the hell that it is. Yeah. You know, Dan, like, in terms of it coming up in a discussion, like, he's probably, if it was a well-received game that he's played a lot of, like, A, he's probably convinced one or two of us to come along for the ride, or B, he's talked about it on a podcast or, you know, on Discord or something, and he'll just qualify it as, like, oh, yeah, we've talked about it. Oh, fuck. What was that, like, Iron Man simulator game? Do you play as a human in that, or are you aliens? The, the one that fucking failed miserably and Anthem. yeah were you human in that yeah you're a human yeah fuck yeah. The, the, the love the red dwarf love on dan love the shirt dude 
Smegoth. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, I almost for nostalgia. Well, I I would. I don't know if I could actually get through more than a handful of episodes. They they take a serious amount of love to want to so power good. through that show. So good. <laughs> I don't know. I still enjoy it. It's cheesy, so but oh, oh, it's so cheesy. <laughs> I've never hey, Rich, watched. Rich, did you ever play Enter the what? Gungeon? Rich, Enter the Gungeon? No, I have not, but I know of it. Yeah, but that's that's a human though. Your your people. You? Pretty sure. I, yeah, I never. I haven't played it, so I don't know. Yeah. Also, a size. I think more of like an isometric third person. Just, basically, basically trying to grab <laughs> fucking random shooting games out of my head. Yeah, it's like probably Link's some past, weird almost. fucking like furry porn shooter from Japan. Oh no! Wait, no, it's not that Japanese. Okay, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> and you get stopped dead in the track. See, and, and that's that's another thing too. It's a Western developer, right? So. Well, it's just not a Japanese developer, like. Really. No, I know, but. Mike mentioned like it, it could now be like a Korean developer or uh, like we didn't significantly ask lower chance of cat ears in this game. Mike. <laughs> the disappointment there. You guys, uh, did you guys give up? Uh, I think we're at about the right point. Let's just take a couple of guesses. Here is Raymond. Nope, part of a uh, series. That's, that's a good one. No multiplayer. I, I was gonna say even even Splatoon Everybody is loves part Raymond. of a series. Splatoon is part of a series. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, there is Stardew Valley. Did the Wonderful One Hundred and One have? I don't really share yeah. that. Uh, the Wonderful One Hundred and One. You're people. Are you people or are you like God Hand moving people? No, you're people. Yeah. Oh shit. I'm ready to wave the flag. You have one more question and then a guess. This is, okay. this is, this is just stupid. <laughs> you don't play as a human. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, well, we, we could just ask, like, do you play as animals? Would, would that be helpful? <clears throat> or do you play as robots? Do you play as aliens? Like, one of those questions okay. would at least okay. help a little bit, right? Go ahead. Yep. Sure. So which sure. one? What's more likely? Probably, probably uh, robots. Way. Yeah, robot or something. Yeah. But we like don't want mechanic. more likely. We want the one that like. He plays the mechanical jackpot. Hit, right? But like, yeah. if you found out it was animals, would that change your? It's much less likely for it to be animals. So if he says yes, then yeah, right. it totally changes. It'd be like Beat Saber. <laughs> I think you're a human well, it, yourself. It, it... Well, what is that uh, cybernetic game on the consoles right now where you're, shoot, Aiden was playing it the other day. The game, you know, like you know a... there's no single player and it takes two, right? Are you telling me? Yes. Yeah. You know that, right? Okay. <laughs> yeah, but you, that... play as, you play as a person in that though, right? Now you play as clay and uh, yep. wood. You're not even like real. Okay, so is that going to be the gotcha moment where, you know, you're not actually a person, but you're, you know, your character's in you the shape dead. and form of a person? You could be like, you could be a ghost or some shit. Guys, let's just guess. This is, oh, this is getting there, there is, there is the Owl zombie. Boy. That's my guess. There is Owl Boy. I don't know what that is. Oh, that, that's, that's great, but that's a side-scroller, though. Yeah, yeah, like it's a platformer, right? Yeah. Dan, yeah, Dan yeah. do you play as a mechanical creature in this game? No. So it's possibly animal, possibly alien, mm -hmm. or a demon. Can, you can, be can, a demon. can I ask one question? Is there a demon? I this, is, this is this is the guess. You have to guess the game now. Yeah, yeah I know. But do you evolve. guys know any demon multiplayer games? Let's or... guess evolve. Well, you play as humans. Shit. Oh, you can play as an animal in that one too. Oh, we lost Mon Andy. Is there a game where you're all monsters? Oh, he's back. Where you're all monsters? No. Like an alien versus predator style where you can choose to play as an alien. Fuck. It would be I remember if Ikaruga came out on PC or not. I don't think it did. There was an Ikaruga too. Ah, god damn it. Okay. Anybody. I will take anybody. Oh, wait a sec. Wait a sec. Wait a sec. Uh, on to any guess. Cuphead is multiplayer, multi-platform. And single player. Ooh, and you right. definitely shoot things. Jesus, John, you got to ask it, man. But, that's a but, but that's, that's side-scroller, side though, right? doesn't matter. You're still third person. 
That's, I'm going to take uh, it at this point. And you know what? I was looking at it, too, and I was just like, no way that could be Cuphead. Yeah, guess Cuphead. Go ahead, John. I love that question. <laughs> Do it. It's the best guess we've got, so. Uh, oh, so then is the game Cuphead? Released on September 29th, 2017 for Windows and Xbox One was the Oakville, Ontario developed Cuphead. That yes. was the game? Yes, that is correct. <laughs> yes. Oh, you, you know, it's John. John. Holy shit, John. <laughs> you know, honestly, it's I sat John, here you're the man of the hour. It. Holy shit. <laughs> Ridiculous. Nice out of my ass. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. We got it. That's incredible. You were, was, you had, so, you were so off. You were so that, far away from that. That totally threw me off because... That that to me would be a platform. That's and mental. The realistic art style one would have been a good one. It would have would have totally put us on the right path. Now the reason I was saying the whole third person thing was a because it's like it's not first person, it's third person. Right. Yes, You're it's right. a side scroller, but at the same time, the overworld map is definitely a third person. Yes, yeah. for sure. Yeah. There are vehicles in that, by the way. Are there? So that was the one where I was like, if there are, I apologize because I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't remember that. Plane type of thing. Yes. Oh fuck. Okay. I, mean, so I don't. I don't even think of that. That, that was the third level. Yeah, I don't even remember that part to be honest with you. That's why I was yeah, like, yeah. I don't think so. But sorry if there is. Oh no no no! Like no one know, thinks of Cuphead it, and thinks of vehicles. They think of no. I know the yeah. bosses and shooting them. Like that's it. it yeah, it's really funny because the kids saw it in my my feed the other day, and and literally, like, I'm staring at it right now, kind of going, "It couldn't be Cuphead. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Like, I would totally." <laughs> God damn it! Wow. I'm, I'm so like, proud of you, John. Oh, yeah. thank you. Thank you. That's a huge pull. That's hilarious. Nicely done. That is funny. Dan, you you put this in here for. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I just put it in there. All right, so that's uh, no. that's. Hey, just out of curiosity, you said Christ. that was like developed in Canada, right? Like, yeah. does that include yeah. the, uh, the, the, the music? So, okay, like so so technically it was developed by a couple of brothers. One of them lives, or lived in Oakville. One of them lived in Regina, in Saskatchewan. Oh, wow. But they, they got, I think, a total of about 19 people involved in the game, like, across the world. That's cool. So like the music was made by I think someone from God knows where, but like the the main producers and developers of the game were from Canada. So yeah, cool. I just remember seeing the uh, the recording session for the the band because I mean they had like a full jazz ensemble there. Like, I, well, I'm, oh yeah, I, I, yeah. Passion. I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised if they hired like a professional kind of like you know outfit to do the music. <laughs> so, but yeah, there you DLC go. is coming for Cuphead as well. It is, and it's God knows when the hell it's coming out because it keeps on getting delayed because of this pandemic that apparently is happening right now. Ah, uh, boo. Because uh, I thought it was supposed to be this year oh, that, that DLC's that. coming. Our arm is sore. <laughs> mm -hmm. You're going to have to use the other one tonight, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> um, There you go. That's this week's lovely episode 30 something, 9, 38. I actually can't. 38, there you go. Uh, this will be up on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts. Uh, well, I don't know what other podcast services there are. I, I, just use, I just use Spotify, so I really don't know. Stitcher? Maybe? Who knows? Who the hell knows? There's, it's, on every, it's on everything. But yeah, so we'll talk to you soon. Ciao, everybody.